You guys, I want to say congrats to the New York Yankees who are moving on to the American League Championship Series. <laughs> and congrats to the Mets who are moving on to binge watch season eight of Friends. Oh. That's fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, you could tell the Yankees were feeling good when they popped champagne, lit cigars, and it was only the second inning. Uh, that's when I knew something was up. Let's get to some news. Today, the White House stopped an important ambassador from testifying. Yep, Trump told his staff to do whatever it takes to stop anyone from saying anything that could endanger his presidency. And his staff was like, okay, and duct taped his mouth shut. Oh. <laughs> can't stop my Twitter hands. <laughs> get his hands, too. Get his thumbs. Tape his thumbs. He's Twitter, his Twitter thumbs. Tweet. That's right, the White House blocked our EU ambassador, Gordon Sondland, from testifying about the Ukraine scandal, because nothing says we've got nothing to hide, like saying, we gotta hide Gordon. <laughs> Can we see what Gordon Sondland looks like? Yeah. <laughs> looks like an accountant for the Adams family. Um, <laughs> he looks like a guy who rents a Ferrari for his high school reunion. You know that guy? <laughs> he looks like a lawyer who claims he only collects money if you get paid, you know? And I look like money if you get paid. <laughs> Weak finger. Uh, apparently, the ambassador has a bunch of text messages about Ukraine, but the State Department won't give them to Congress. When she heard that, Hillary Clinton was like, Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the text on the ambassador's phone. Oh, get this, I heard that when the whistleblower testifies before Congress, they might disguise his appearance and his voice which means there's a good chance the president is about to be brought down by a guy dressed as a minion. <laughs> Banana! And I read that since the impeachment inquiry began, White House officials have been dodging interviews about the Ukraine scandal. Apparently, they even got their own excuse generator to come up with reasons why they can't talk. I'll show you how it works. For example, when they asked Attorney General William Barr for an interview, he said... I would, but I'm working as a John Goodman impersonator. Oh. Well, that's... Yeah. Next, when they asked Senator Rand Paul, he said... I can't move. The appointment for my perm. Oh. <laughs> Makes gotta, sense. You've got to keep it tight. Yeah. You've got to keep tight. it tight, tight, tight. Next, when they asked uh, Housing Secretary Ben Carson, he said... I'm busy. Practicing for it, Dancing with the Star. Oh, wow. Well, That's gonna yeah. be good. Valid excuse. And finally, when they asked Rudy Giuliani, oh, look at that picture. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. When they asked Rudy Giuliani for an interview, he said, Sorry, I'm having a colonoscopy as we speak. Oh, wow. Rudy. As we speak. Wow. Sums up. Now, today, Trump had lunch with Vice President Mike Pence. You can tell Trump's paranoid about leaks because before the meeting, he frisks Pence to see if he was wearing a wire. He's like, wow, you're like a Ken doll everywhere. <laughs> mother, 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 get in here. <laughs> Do you guys see this? China is refusing to broadcast NBA games after the Houston Rockets GM spoke out in support of Hong Kong's protesters. It's a bad situation because the NBA needs China to grow their fan base and to make their shoes. Yeah. <laughs> True. It's yeah. true. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Let's face facts. Hey, listen to this. Uh, to save taxpayer money, the king of Sweden just took away royal status from five of his grandkids. Oh. For us, it's a news story. For Eric and Don Jr., it's a preview. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get this. A British man became the first person to fly around the world in a gyrocopter. Yeah, when asked to comment on his flight in a gyrocopter, he said, uh, actually, it's pronounced Eurocopter. <laughs> Probably didn't know that. Yeah. Probably didn't know that little over your head, so no big deal. Needs to spin. Hmm. It's just my, my family, they've always, they've always flown in Eurocopters. Yeah. So. That's, that's what you call it. So. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> and finally, a French town made a world record setting fruit salad that weighed almost 23,000 pounds. When they heard about wasting 23,000 pounds of fruit, Edible Arrangements was like, stay in your lane, girl. Oh, uh, we have a great show. And it's on and on and on.